you know, I always used to consider myself to be, uh, how can I say this, the most intellectually inclined member of our family. I mean, growing up, you remember how mom and dad used to always expect me to handle things around the house. And it's no surprise, one girl, three brothers. Now look at us. One brother dead, one in jail, and you, the youngest, my favorite. I always used to make stupid decisions. <laughs> I remember always covering for you, taking most of your punishment, you know? Being my brother's keeper, like dad expected me to. And I guess that's why the first chance I got, I moved away. I mean, being the oldest, uh, I figured you would have the most responsibility, right? I thought most families worked that way. But I just couldn't take it. I had to get away from me. But when mom and dad passed away, all of a sudden, all that responsibility and pressure just kept came rushing right back in. I had to move back to make sure that you weren't doing anything stupid, that you were all right. Only to find out that you were better than all right. You were great. I mean, you were making good money. You were taking care of yourself, had just bought your own place. And for the first time in my life, I was so proud of you. I mean, my baby brother doing so well. <laughs> Riding high off the emotion from that, I started feeling like life was getting a little sweeter. And I met this man. I mean, I wasn't looking for it. I didn't expect it to happen, but suddenly I'm bumping into this wonderful man. I mean, we'd only been dating for a few moments, a few, you know, weeks, but I started to care about him a lot, you know? I guess all these new emotions must have went straight to my head, took me out of my element. I knew something couldn't be right. It was just too good to be true. I remember the day we were just on one of our typical dates, walking through the park, wanting to get to know each other better. It was just a beautiful day. I couldn't wait for him to meet you. But the moment you walked up, I knew something wasn't right. Something had changed. And then later that night, you tell me what you really do. That you know him. I think he's undercover. No proof, but you had an idea. And I didn't believe you. I mean, I couldn't believe you. And then a day later, he tells me his side. That you were right. And suddenly I, I couldn't trust him anymore. You know? I mean, all that shock and rage I felt towards both of you had me in extreme denial. I mean, I'm not surprised about you. Again, you were always doing stupid things. But him? He was so sweet, honest. And now you tell me that it'll be fixed by tomorrow. And I don't know what that means. I don't know what you meant. But please, whatever you do, don't hurt him. Don't do anything stupid. Please, for me.